Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see how to fix Windows update error. And the error code is 0x8007-0643. If you are specifically looking for KB503441, then there's another video of mine where I have showed how to resize the recovery partition to fix the problem. I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to that video in the description. You can check out that video. And before starting with the fixes, I will suggest you to close all the programs, then turn off the third party antivirus if you are using any, and then enable Windows security and then perform a complete system scan. Once you are done with that, I want you to open command prompt in admin. Now here, I want you to run a SFC scan first of all. The next command that I want you to run is DISM. Then after that, scan health, run this one also. Now once this is complete, the last command that I want you to run is this one, restore health. Now once the operation of the third command also finishes, we can just start with the fixes. And the first fix needs you to open your command prompt in admin mode. And then I want you to run some commands one by one. So this is the first command, it's going to set the startup type to auto for the Windows update service. Then this is the second command. This is going to set the startup type to auto for background intelligent transfer service. Then this is the third command. It's going to set the startup type to auto for cryptography service. Then the fourth command is trusted installer, which is responsible for the removal or the modification of windows updates and then we are going to run this command this is going to change the type of the windows update service to share now we have to delete or clear the windows update cache so that windows creates or downloads a new cache for windows updates now to access the windows update cache first of all we will have to stop four services All right, now after that, I want you to run this command. It's going to rename the software distribution folder to software distribution old. And this is the folder where the Windows update cache is maintained. In the same way, we have to run one more command, which is this. All right, now after that, we can start the four services that we have stopped. Now after that you can restart your computer and check if your windows update is working or not. If it is still not working then in the next step I want you to install the latest .NET framework. So the link is also in the description of the video. And from here I want you to download the latest version. Then coming under here run apps you can click here on offline installer and the .NET framework is going to start downloading. Now once it downloads, you can just install it. It's just a matter of few clicks and few next buttons and then you will be able to install the framework. After you installed the .NET framework, do check if your Windows update is working or not. If it is still not working, then you can just hit Windows plus R key and type services.msc. I want you to look for Windows Event Collector. It's this one. Just right click on it. Click on Properties. Change the startup type to Automatic. And if this service is not running, click on Start. Click on Apply. Click on OK. Then Windows Event Log. Right click on it. Click on Properties. Make the startup type to Automatic. And if it is not running, then you can click on the start button and run it. Then click on OK. Close this. Restart your computer and check if that has solved your problem. If you are still facing the problem, then in the next step, I want you to restart your computer into a clean boot and then check if your Windows is able to perform the update or not. Now to perform a clean boot, you have to hit Windows plus R, then type msconfig, hit enter. Now here, I want you to click here on services, click on hide all Microsoft services, 
then click on disable all then click on startup tab click on open task manager and then disable all the services from here one by one now once all the services are disabled return back to system configuration click on services tab click on apply click on ok and then restart your computer now in the clean boot you can just check if windows is able to perform the update or not so that's all for this video thanks for watching